This video was brought to you by Gamersgate.com. Download games anytime, anywhere. Skip it a button, that up. So EA wants to stay new and fresh, just like my ass after a shower. EA Games Executive Vice President Patrick Soderlin had this to say, We are working on a new Mirror's Edge game, and although it's not a new IP, it is a revival done in a new way. It's still not a new IP, dude. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but it's a sequel no matter what, no matter which way you slice it, it's a sequel. Continuing on, we are developing Star Wars Battlefront, which to us is a new IP, even though it isn't technically. Then if it isn't technically, it's not a new IP. It's just that LucasArts went out of business and you took over the rights to it, so it's still a sequel. But moving on, we have six to eight completely new IPs in the works. The day we stop making new IPs is the day that we go on life support. We need to incubate new ideas and push creative boundaries. It's an entertainment business. You have to surprise people and you have to take risks. If you don't, you die. So constantly trying to stay fresh from an entertainment standpoint is a difficult challenge, but it's something we try to do at EA. And I think we have a better track record than most in being able to innovate and build franchises over time and introduce new ideas. Look, sequels have been around forever, for games especially. I remember even back in the NES days, you know, there was Double Dragon 2, Three Castlevanias, so on and so forth. There's a bunch other, but I can't remember them off the top of my head right now. But I think this generation has had the most, the seventh generation, not the upcoming one, console, not all three consoles aren't even out yet, just the Wii U. Um, every, it just seemed like, especially after the original Modern Warfare, it just, everyone was just like, let's keep recycling the same shit over and over again. And it, it's not just EA that was guilty, it is all the big developers, pretty much, we're guilty of just delivering the same crap because it was a big seller for a while, but I do think that people are just getting fatigued of the same shit. Now, it's interesting. I remember I made that video a while back about how Crytek was talking about, you know, it's the hardware that makes us make repetitive games, and I don't buy that, you know, but hey, hey now they have no excuse. Like I said before, you have your more powerful hardware. If that was quote unquote what was holding you back to making innovative new games, now you have the new hardware that's more powerful. So there you go. Give us those new IPs, EA. Everyone out there, give us those new exciting IPs and not the same recycled shit over and over again. I also think that's why Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo are really embracing the indie developers because they know here's the reality of it. The AAA guys. They're blaming the hardware, it's an excuse. You know they're not gonna take risks. You know there's gonna be a Battlefield 5, 6, and 7. You know there's gonna be 30 more Call of Duties. I'm sure there's gonna be sequels to Titanfall. So they know they need to make up for that by getting the indie devs in there and really bringing those fresh new ideas. That's why all three console companies are embracing the indie developers and really like rolling out the red carpet for them. The bottom line is it'll be interesting to see what happens this generation with all the AAA developers and, and game publishers out there because they soar up and down. It was the limitations of the hardware. Now let's see if they can actually take that risk financially and make a brand new IP that they don't know will be successful or not. They say they will, but will they actually do it? Only time will tell. Let's see what happens. Anyway, folks, make sure to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting Review Tech USA. Have a good one.